All right, welcome to another tutorial in Maya. Um, today we're going to take a look at something that's really cool, and that's the ocean shader. So essentially what it is is it's a, a simulation. It's a water simulation, and uh, you can adjust all sorts of parameters for it. Um, you can uh, adjust the wave height and the water and all that. And essentially, let me break down this scene for you. I've animated a, a saucer kind of flying in here, and then it... Uh, kind of does that. This is for a, an opening for a reggae festival, so to speak. So, um, <laughs> the saucer goes flying back there, and that's that. And I've attached um, a, a couple of different things here. Um, you can notice how these are bouncing up and down with the water. Well, essentially, we've just uh, made, it the, made those float. Um, we've attached them to the surface of the water, and now they react. So, let's get started. Um, let's go into Maya and look at a new scene. What we're going to do is just open up this open sh uh, ocean shader real quick and uh, see, what, see what it's all about. So if you come over here into your Dynamics menu set, make sure it's set on Dynamics and not in Dynamics but um, regular Dynamics. And what we ha have here is the, the menus for our Dynamics and in this case we're going to create an ocean. So we'll just go to Fluid Effects, come down to Ocean, and create an ocean. Um, as you can see, it's uh, large. You can see the edges. I have mine set to a, a large scale. Um, essentially, if I undo that for a second, uh, let's, let's get rid of this ocean. Uh, let's go back and um, let's go in here to our ocean again. And in this time, let's look at this property in this options box. It only comes with a couple of properties. Um, it comes with attach to camera, create preview plane. Right now, we're just going to make sure it's set to preview plane. I have mine set way up here to 200, but you can adjust that and set it down. I think the default settings, if you go to edit to reset settings, the preview plane default size is 10. So let's just use that. I'll create this ocean. As you can see, it just shows up down here as kind of a small a small area and if I play the animation right now I wanna set my animation for maybe oh let's say 600 frames or, or 500 frames let's do 500 okay so now we've set it for 500 if you go to the timeline and just click you'll notice the default settings um, and you can see kind of how that ocean is moving and um, kind of what it's doing. And this is sort of where you do all of your adjustments. So uh, for the time being, let's take this back to frame number one. And let's come over here and look at our ocean shader. Um, the ocean shader is, if that's not chosen, if you have something uh, different at the moment, <clears throat> which you may have, you could um, accidentally have clicked on here and then you would see that you have the ocean plane, you have the plane shape, and you have uh, a sphere. But what we really want to look for right here is the ocean shader. So if it's not there, look in here on the drop down menu, you'll find ocean shader. So here it is, and here's the various properties that we can sort of play with wave speed, observer speed. For now, just leave observer speed at zero. We're just going to work with the wave speed and we're going to do some frequencies and some spread and some adjustments. Now you're going to want to make sure that, you're, um, uh, that you have your, your render view in and we'll go ahead and click on our render and we'll take a quick render and see what that looks like. Well the default for Maya gives you something like this. It depends on um, you know how large you have it scaled and what it looks like. As you can see the more we scale out the more repetitive uh, the ocean and the waves seem to look, it, they, they sort of all seem to look the same. So I found that you get the best results when you're um, using this over here and you're sort of at an angle like this. And that puts the horizon of the water out at a more reasonable distance from what you'd normally be seeing the water at. And if we take another render view uh, from this angle, you'll notice that it changes significantly. Now it looks like it has a lot more random character to it and whatnot. Um, right now, I'm in Mental Ray. I may want to, just for convenience, let's just switch to Maya Software and take a quick look. Maya Software is great with rendering this water. As you can see, it's sort of um, uh, just on its default settings made this look 
you know pretty good so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna adjust my my render settings a little bit um, if you click on this button right here you'll get your render settings and inside of Maya, I want to go to the Maya software section and in this quality we're gonna set it up to we'll just do production quality and and leave it at that okay so now we'll take another quick render and we'll see what that looks like at production quality and you can see where it looks a lot better um, it sort of evened everything out and now we're ready to start kind of working so let's just work with this angle at the moment and uh, add some geometry or something just because we're gonna you'll see why later um, let's uh, minimize our render view and let's get rid of our render settings we're okay there now as you notice you really don't notice the water I mean you can't tell in the viewport exactly what's happening so a lot of times you have to be doing constant rendering with this so in this case I'm gonna I'm gonna turn on um, I'm gonna come in here a little bit more and we're gonna go back to our render view and we're gonna keep this render view up for a, a, a little bit and just sort of understand that this water is moving so let's come back over here and let's choose our uh, let's let's choose that right there that should just by clicking on that area where the ocean shader shows up and let's turn up our uh, our um, let's see we have wave height and we have wave turbulence now you can see where if you were to make the turbulence go up can you see over here you'll see it move um, let's just sort of, I'm gonna minimize this render view for a second and you can see where basically this is the scale of the wave right here so if you click on that and move it up and down you'll get a, a larger wave height or a smaller wave height I like to kinda of leave mine low to begin with because I can always go higher later now the wave turbulence as you can see is on here it's cranked way up so let's get in here and take a closer look and let's move uh, the turbulence down a little bit okay so this just basically decreases the turbulence of the waves and you can see where they have a little more fluid motion like that and see where that shows up or if you bring that turbulence all the way up you'll notice that usually you have to restart at the beginning and it seems to have even a little bit more so that gives you an indication of how that water is working now let's do something a little different let's come in here to our renderer and go into high quality rendering okay now you can see with high quality rendering a simulation of kind of what it's going to look like so if I just click the play button you can see where that water is moving around quite a bit and it doesn't necessarily look natural um, so I'm gonna come up here and do a couple of adjustments quickly with um, maybe the number of frequencies maybe I'll bring those frequencies down just a little bit and maybe I'll bring down the directional spread a little bit and let's take a look at that I'm gonna rewind to the beginning and it still looks a little choppy still looks a little weird but that's okay because we're gonna uh, mess around with a couple of other things like the wave speed so up here your wave speed if I, I turn that down a little bit let's turn this on sometimes you can interact um, live with this uh, system and you can sort of change things at random and just let it play let the animation loop and there you can see it's slowing down I'm gonna go ahead and slow that down a little more and now we have now it's looking a little more natural let's slow it down even a little bit more that might be a little too slow so I'll bring it up just a little bit so you get the idea that's what those are all about so I'm gonna leave everything there I'm gonna I'm gonna take my wave, wave height off I'm gonna just undo that now let's look at uh, wave peaking um, we have a wave height offset um, you can you can bring those waves up or down um, depending on where you need it and it, it for the moment we're just gonna leave this pretty much where it's at um, don't worry about wave height offset yet until you've actually learned some other stuff here anyway um, let's go on to the the water color now here's where you can set the overall water color um, I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit and we're gonna do a quick render and we're gonna see where this water color is set at I'm gonna go ahead and hit that 
and as you can see that's kind of what we're looking like right at the moment so let's come in here and maybe change this color up a little bit maybe we want to give it a little bit deeper uh, a little brighter feel so maybe it like a turquoise let's let's do that and we'll accept let's do a quick render and there you can see it's it's sort of picked up those attributes it looks uh, you know looks turquoisey at night um, okay so let's do this let's come down a little bit further and let's take a look at a couple of things um, in the environment down here um, this sort of sets the overall tone for the environment in this case we're working with a gradient um, and it's going from like a dark to 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 a mid blue to a, a darker blue um, what we want to do is if you click any one of these you can click here that basically lets you select the color uh, if you want to change the color or if you want to work with this all at once just click this little bar right here it'll bring up a window that looks like this and it's our ocean shader environment so if we were to change some stuff around here maybe go from uh, this color right here let's maybe do uh, uh, something like that and we'll hit accept and let's say this color right here we want to switch to something more like uh, in the middle there let's accept that and let's do a quick render and see how that's changed the color of this uh, of this ocean okay so you can see I started with a basic color and now um, the general environment is picking up these colors and it's sort of reflecting and refracting off the water um, you can custom fine-tune that all you want you could play with it for days and days and days and establish all sorts of different looking environments but for the moment uh, I just want to let you know that's what that does so I'm going to undo a couple of things here we'll use the edit undo edit undo or command Z um, and let's just go back to kind of where we started uh, that probably is right so let's let's see what we got there all right, I'm going to leave it like that, and we'll just get out of this view. I'm going to minimize the render view. Now, down here, um, if you need to set the transparency a little bit, you do have transparency options, and that's right here. And you'll notice up here, as I move this transparency level up, it'll start to become more transparent. Right now, we can't really tell what transparency is doing because we don't have anything in this scene. So let's go to the home view and let's create a um, just a sphere real quickly click and drag on the grid and let's move that sphere over a little bit uh, let's just put it over here and maybe in here we'll put it right in the center of that scene and let's get a view that's a little more realistic like we were sort of looking at that like that and now let's do a render uh, I'm gonna bring up my render view and we'll go ahead and click on there and as you can see it's picked up a little bit of that transparency since I messed with the transparency on, on uh, the shader. So let's go back to the shader and open up our ocean shader. And now you can see where here's our, my transparency level. If I set this up a little bit more, make it even more transparent and take a render, voila, you can start seeing through the water. Uh, and that's really cool. Um, if I bring the incandescence up just a little bit and do another render, You'll notice that it, it sort of lightens everything overall and you can kind of see a little bit better through here on this transparency. So that's really super cool. Now, that's just the concept. Those are some of the basic things to, to start playing around with. And um, we could go over, I'll, I'll try and do another tutorial on um, more about um, using this, this shader, but that just introduces you to the concept and uh, next uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial because we're going to make this uh, ball um, bounce up and down in the water by making it into uh, adding a locator to it basically so great hope you learned something uh, read a book every day of course um, and thanks for watching we'll see you for the next one